Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we will talk about Preparium as part of our gynecology series. A lot of changes are happening throughout a woman's body during pregnancy. The baby bump develops into a baby belly and the many other visible and invisible changes occur. But what happens after the baby is born? This is described in the phase of Preparium which is the time after the delivery of the baby and the placenta. It includes the turning back of the body, explicitly the reproductive system, to a close to pre-pregnant state and returning of the mother's normal physiology. It usually lasts for around six weeks. This phase is very different from the phase of bouncing back that is often described in mama magazines and web pages or they refer to a woman losing weight and looking the same as before the pregnancy. In Proparium, however, we refer to changes that each reproductive organ goes through. The Proparium is further divided into immediate Proparium, early Proparium and remote Proparium. The immediate Proparium lasts for 24 hours after the delivery of the placenta. The early puerperium extends until completion of the first week postpartum and the remote puerperium lasts up to six weeks postpartum. In the next part, I want to go through each structure or organ and the changes it goes through in a period of puerperium. First of all, the uterus, the one organ that probably comes to mind to everyone. Immediately after the delivery, the uterus measures around 20 cm to 12 cm to 7.5 cm, respectively in height, anteroposterior diameter and thickness, and it weighs around 1 kg. 20 cm in height is approximately up to the umbilicus. By the end of the first week, the uterus measures approximately 500 g, by the end of the fourth week, around 100 gram. The pre-pregnant state, in comparison, is around 60 to 80 gram. So a complete pre-pregnant state will not be reached after a pregnancy. Another important term concerning the uterus after delivery is involution. Involution describes the shrinking back of the uterus to the size it had before pregnancy and the uterus involutes around one centimeter per day. By the end of the second week after delivery, the uterus is again a pelvic organ. Before that, it is an abdominal organ. The isthmus of the uterus, the part that forms the lower segment, is flabby, thin and collapsed after delivery. It takes a few weeks for it to regain its original structure. Next, I want to talk about the cervix. During the delivery, the cervix dilates up to 10 cm, which is approximately the diameter of a bagel or a large donut. Right after delivery, it is possible to put two fingers into the cervical opening. After two weeks, only the tip of one finger can be inserted. The nullipara cervical opening is a dot, while in multipara it is a line. So here, a change back to the close to preterm pregnant state occurs. After the cervix, I want to mention the vagina. In newly Paris women, the vagina has relatively rough transverse rugae, which straighten during delivery. After around three weeks, the rugae appear again, however not as much as in the pre-pregnant stage. The tone of the vaginal wall is also not reaching the pre-pregnant state. The vagina stays a little more dilated. The next part in our list is the decidua. It is the endometrial lining covering the uterus from the inside. The same endometrial lining that sheds during the menses. The decidua basalis is removed together with the amniotic sac in stage 3 of labor. 
The zona functionalis of the decidua basalis, the most basal part of the endometrium, remains and reforms the endometrial lining. The decidua basalis gives rise to the new endometrial lining. The reformation of the endometrium starts on day 7 postpartum. By day 16, the endometrium is reformed everywhere except for the placental site. The placenta used to occupy an area of around 20 cm in diameter, so around the area of a large hand. By week 6, the placental site is also reformed, so the endometrium is complete. The ruptured vessels form thrombi to occlude and limit blood loss until the new vessels are formed. Another part of normal preparium is the lochia. The lochia is a vaginal discharge after delivery, which lasts typically for two weeks. In this time, it changes in appearance, which helps us to classify the lochia into three types. Lochia rubra, lochia serosa, and lochia alba. The first phase is characterized by lochia rubra, which is typically red in color. It lasts from day 1 postpartum to day 4 postpartum and is composed mainly by erythrocytes, which give it a red color, and it's also composed by sheds of fetal membranes, Wernings caseosa, and sometimes meconium. The next phase is called lochia serosa. It is usually yellowish or pink in color, depending on the amount of residual erythrocytes. It usually occurs during days 5 to 9. It represents an increase in leukocytes and decreased amounts of erythrocytes. We typically also find some microorganisms in mucus. The last phase is lochia alba. This discharge is white in color and lasts from day 10 to 15. It presents with even more leukocytes, microorganisms and mucus. In the first week after delivery, the fluid lost by the lochia is around 250 milliliters. Initially, there can be an alkaline, fishy smell, which usually resolves by itself. Of course, there are also disorders that can affect the lochia. There can be, for example, lochiometra, which is the collection of lochia inside the uterus. We have to suspect lochiometra if the discharge is scanty. It can occur due to occlusion of the cervix or due to retroflexion of the uterus, so that the outflow is impossible. This can lead to an infection of the uterus by degradation of the products of the lochia, which can present as endometritis, endometritis, or parametritis. An infection of the uterus is typically characterized by a strange odor of the lochia, accompanied by fever and possible a hardening and pain sensitivity of the uterus. Another pathology is lochioragia, where there is an excess vaginal discharge with larger amounts of fluid loss than normal. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much.